Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be checking out this unique bag setup that I've got here from Cancha Bags. I'll be explaining how it came about on the tennis scene, showing you some of its features, and letting you know how I'll be making use of it on and off the tennis court. So, let's check it out. Welcome back. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Ashley Neves and I run the Tennis Mentor YouTube and Instagram accounts, providing content to tennis players, tennis coaches, and tennis parents to get more out of the sport. Alongside my coaching tutorials, I've recently been reviewing tennis products that I think you'll find interesting, whether they're new technologies or whether they're unique designs like the Cancha Bag here. So first of all, how did the Cancha Bag come about? Jack Oswald is a touring professional tennis player and found life on tour pretty tough when it came to luggage. He'd be taking tennis bags, bags, holders, suitcases, backpacks, and never found anything suitable for what he needed. So he decided to design his own product. The Cancha bag has a very unique modular design. And as you'll be able to see, I've gone for the backpack design. As well as the backpack, you can also get a racket holder, which is a larger version of the backpack in the shape of a tennis racket. On the front of my backpack, you can see that I've actually got another bag attached to it. This bag is attached by a very simple locking mechanism, which allows you to detach the bag very, very simply and reattach it when needed. This front bag I've decided to go for is the wet dry pack, but you can replace this for another couple of options, such as the day pack or the racket holder itself. So the unique thing about Cancha bags is you can build them to suit your needs. You can mix and match between different bag types. For me, this one is going to be perfect for storing all of my tennis clothes for a day's work. I tend to bring two or three outfits to work every day as sometimes I may get sweaty on court or it may rain and I may need a spare change of clothes. This is where the wet dry bag comes in handy. So as you can see, each of the bags has these different attachment sections. The wet dry bag has a couple of these attachments. This is where you can strap shoulder straps onto. You've got these extra attachments at the side of the backpack as well. On this side too, you'll be able to see it's very easy to detach. You simply push the clips together and pull it out. And you can do the same. There are four clips on this bag. So just squeeze and pull, squeeze and pull. So this is what the wet dry bag looks like and you can see these little attachments here. This is what attaches to the backpack. Like I said, this could actually also be used as its own backpack and inside the wet dry bag, if we open it up, it's fully waterproof itself, but it has another separate bag inside it with a roll top design. So you can put your wet or your dry clothes in here fold it up, clip it together, and this can go into the wet dry bag, separating your wet and your dry clothes. Like so. On the front of the backpack, you'll be able to see the different attachments sections here. This is where you can attach the wet dry bag or the tennis bag or the day pack as well. The backpack itself has a big zip compartment Massive, I've got a load of clothes in here, I don't know if you can see in there, but it's also got a small zip pocket inside which allows you to put valuables. And again, just like the wet dry pack, you can zip it up, roll it down, and clip it together at the top, like so. If we turn to look at the back of the backpack, you'll see that it's got these two shoulder straps easily adjustable but it's also got this chest clip which allows you to fasten across your chest keeping it nice and secure 
It's nice and padded at the back. It's got a very simple branding. You can see here it's got the Cancha logo. I like that it's subtle. We've got a little side pocket here for your valuables. So obviously life on tour, um, you know, as a pro, you'll need your passport, you'll need your wallet, your phone, that can all go in this side pocket. And then we've got a bigger side pocket here, which is big enough for laptop, uh, iPad, notepad, whatever you need. And that's protected with this padding as well. So far, I've had the bag for about two weeks and I've used it, bringing it to the tennis club most days. Like I say, I actually store my trainers in here. I get a lot of clay in my trainers and actually it allows me to keep the trainers separate from any clothing that I have in the bag. In this main compartment, I tend to keep my three changes of clothes, my shower stuff, anything I need for a day at work. And actually I keep a notepad in the back compartment of the bag all of the time. As you've seen in some of the B-roll footage, I've been using it out in the forest as well. I've tested it out with the dog. He's been splashing it. It's pretty muddy, in fact. I probably need to give it a bit of a clean, but it's rugged and waterproof design makes it perfect for any forest trips. So if you're a tennis player or somebody who likes traveling or even better, both, this is gonna be an ideal bag for you. Check out the website in the link below because they also do a tennis holder if you want to put your tennis rackets in there too. And if you've got any questions about the bag, let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider subscribing so that you can see more videos like this. And let me know in the comments below if you've got any other products you'd like me to review. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.